Now you can clearly see the pattern of the lung and you can clearly see the exact same pattern I hope you can see it right here on this lung and you can see there are all the little red spots and where it's white and the black between it is where it's going into the um, deoxygenated blood this is oxygenated blood here you can see the little I mean, it's the same. It's a lung, and I have, I have literally hundreds of them. I'm not kidding, you. <laughs> literally hundreds. This one's been DNA certified, and uh, you know, an anatomist looked at it. I mean, there's no nobody can deny that. There's no anatomist in the world can deny that. That's where the blood, the little flap on the bottom, and this little flappy thing on the top. That's where the heart sits in the back. It's a left human lung. That's the fabric of the lung. I'll show it in the microscope in a minute and that's what happens this is what they call pleura I have one over here somewhere hold on here it is this one here the pleura has worked away and that's the lung tissue and this is the fabric of the lung but and they have it they're coated with a thick fabric it's pleura it's called and and it's washed away now if I put water on there that would turn red just like the, just like all of them that blood comes right back out if it's still left in there some of them are totally devoid of the bodily fluids by this time you know these are they're just well here's one here look look that's a fingertip and you say oh Roger how can you tell me that's a fingertip because that's where the blood runs out on the artery side this is the vein side it doesn't run out because it's got clamps in there and I have them hundreds of these and in all kinds of of places of um, deterioration there's another one it's exactly it's the same thing it's identical identical only this one was a meteorite it came through space and exploded the blood out the side it's the only way they could be blistered black like this all of the flesh is gone it's that heated up where blood was in there exploded out it was red blood when it came through the atmosphere and meteorites that are iron meteorites are hearts and lungs let me show you one right now Okay, my friends, that is an iron meteorite cut and etched with acids. That is the red blood. That is the, it's black in, um, um, in these type of fossils, of the artery blood. And uh, this was a heart, because a heart is nothing more than a bag of blood. In a lung, you would get something different. And let's take a look at a lung. Okay, so as you saw before, I do understand what lungs are, and this is the lung that's highly eroded. It was in like acid or something, but that's the structure of it, and that's exactly what that is. Now, that is the world's largest iron meteorite, they say, something like that. That is absolutely biological. Those are the same pockets that are in this lung. Now, if you go deep into these little passages, because see here, these passages go on and on and on inside of here. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. <laughs> you see down inside there? I think you can see it. Well, no, you, can't. <laughs> you see down inside those holes? The same exact thing is going on there. Only if you drilled into, and I can see the red, I can see it in here. I don't know how it could be missed. You see right there, is this, and that, the, the new way they can ch test this stuff, they're going to find out what it is. Okay, you see that? That's my belt. <laughs> you see all those little black dots? Well, let's see if we can find them somewhere else. All right, I'm going to move around on this this is a giant human fingertip it's been DNA tested you see the blood vessels going down inside oh, all those little black spots that is all related to biology that is the way the skin tags this still has a skin on it um, 
and you see, I mean, it's, it's all over here. This, this thing is almost perfect. You'll see it, I'll show it to you in a minute. But you see all those little dots? That is typical of skin. That's how the skin can move around and then come back to those dots stay. And there's little tags. Now, I am going to go to something. I told you I had a, a um, meteorite. Here it is right here. You see this? That's that meteorite. What do you see there? You see the same exact thing, only it's, this one here is blistered up. Now, here's the black spot. You see, this is where it blackened up coming through space. But those black dots are still there. Everything's there. Now, if you come out of where it got blackened up and you start keep getting over here, you know, it's cooked up pretty good, but it's obviously what it is. Now, blood is saturated in here. You see this? That is blood. It is saturated with blood. I've had, oh, and I've, I've put it in acid and I've looked at it in a microscope, 100%. That's what it is. And that blew out of there. Now, there's no way for that blood to leak out in that way. That is not leakage. That is explosion. And so that was a meteorite. I have blood from space right here. All right, I'm just going to throw a couple things at you. This is that giant fingertip that I showed you the fabric from. It had all those dots all over it. All right, this is a giant toe. That's the toenail right there. That is the vein blood spot going through that Normally vein blood doesn't blow out, but it did on this one, and I'll show you why. That's the strap that always comes around. They have a strap that straps them. This is why the, bl the vein blood blew out, because this is the artery side, and that's the guy's callus. <laughs> it's like a cap over the artery so it can't blow out. Normally they blow out. Like this is artery blood right here. That blew out, and the reason that one blew out is because it came through space and it exploded that blood out of there. That's not leaked blood. That is exploded, wet explosion of blood in what you would call a partial smelt. Hearts and lungs turn into solid metal. All right, and that's the cap, which is the, the guy's callus. This is the grip skin. You're going to see this fabric-y skin all the time uh, on grip skin. Uh, this is the vein side, all the black area blew out, and that's the funny looking skin that goes up next to your other toe. And that's the, that's the vein side, which is black, in, in, in the stuff that I work with. In, when it's alive in the body, it's more or less blue. When it comes pouring out of you, it turns red instantly because it's, it's a reactive to, to the oxygen. It, it, it oxygenates it instantly. So you never see your blood coming out blue, it comes out red. Now, I've been pushing this for years. We have new species, new species. They call them no-toes. Well, you know, I named them no-toes, and that's what they are, no-toes. And there's no toes in them, but they're inside here. And I could prove every single word I'm saying. And Tish found a batch of these. I mean a batch. I contacted a ton of universities, not a single one is interested. <laughs> I'm telling you, what you believe about your university system, you are just, have no idea. All right, final words, that's the no-toe. It's the exact same fabric, exact same fabric, exact same fabric. That's the finger that came through space. That's a fingertip. I'm sorry, it's just what it is. And it came through space and exploded. I showed you this stuff. That's the giant fingertip that I showed you. All the black dots all over. It's been DNA tested. It's been CAT scan. It's been anatomist certified. Oh, I know everything I'm ta talking about is not negotiable. It's all factual. DNA certified. <laughs> And I got one bigger, it's, I can't possibly get in here, that is DNA certified. And here it is, the fingertip, oh, the fingerprints, actually. I've shown this a number of times, but it's so cool I can't help myself. Those are the actual fingerprints. All right, and it, you see those little dots here? Dot, dot, dot. That's the grip skin where it, um, it uh, is a sweat pores. And then this goes wraps right around the bottom. I broke this off. That's the thickness of the guy's skin on his of his finger finger skin. And that's the, so 
we got a lot to talk about, and I've got the stuff. Nobody can deny this. It cannot be denied. You can only just ignore it, and that's what's happened. And it's been eight years. Time to end this nonsense. I want to live in reality. I, and I'm literally assaulted for trying to, to, to be a real person. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just the fact. All right, this is, uh, this is kind of interesting. I sent this to Mary Schweitzer, who is the one that discovered the dinosaur DNA, and they destroyed her for that years ago. And I contacted, I saw, I contacted you when you first announced the soft tissue discovery, because I had the same thing. And I was trying to get her to help me, and she didn't want to engage. And anyway, and so I'm asking her to step back in. Now, they go, don't forget, now, this is January 25th. And then I said, if you want me to go away, just simply say that, and I'll go away. Well, she didn't say they'd go away, so I'm staying here. But I'm telling you, and I told her right there, your peers are destroying truth, I am afraid. And I hope it doesn't break into her. And here's what happened. And it, so now this is January 25th. So then you come down. This goes back a long time. I don't care what they say about me. That's her because they tried to destroy her. They did. They destroyed her. Well, all of a sudden, I see she posted about about um, cells being found in a meteorite. And I said, ooh, this is amazing. So I try to get back in contact with her again. And all of a sudden, her, that article's missing, and these guys take over. It's a protein discovered inside a meteorite. Now, this is March 3rd. This is only a couple of days ago. And now we're into this Ber Bruker Scientific in Harvard. I don't see her mentioned anymore. And there's one article about it. And then you go into here, this one here, this is in uh, another article about it. Oh, we're finding proteins in space all over the place. Well, I'm not finding Mary's name anymore. It's Harvard University. She's not with Harvard. Then I go another one here. They're all, they're, they're all jumping on board. A meteorite with protein. Can, and this was back in uh, the end of February, February 22nd. And don't forget, I put this up in January. And I've been screaming about this. And all of a sudden, everybody in the world jumping on board. But Mary Schweitzer's gone. This is not right. Something's not right in, uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, to, to have done what they did to her in the beginning, and then to do this again... As far as I'm seeing, that's what they're trying to do. And uh, they just push her out of the way. And they push anybody out of the way. And they call all oh, the big four, big this and that. Well, guess what? Well, here, let me show you something else. This is really cool. Now, don't forget, I think she published out of a China um, university. And this is, I, got, I get this from academia all the time about people looking at my stuff and mentioning me in papers. But this one here, just a couple of days ago, the faculty member in the Department of School of Civil Engineering at Daliana University of Technology read your paper. Now, that is one of the top four top-rated universities in China. Now, and, and I get this stuff all the time. Watch this. Uh, let's see what I got today. Hold on. They do this. Okay, a a Academia EDU. Arspur, 13 mentions. So they mentioned 13 times in some papers I was mentioned in. Now, which is good, but I did nobody ever, <laughs> I never heard anybody talk to me about them. And then they tell you what to look for, quantized spin waves, things that I'm interested in. These are all my YouTube stuff coming in. Anyway, I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see Mary Schweitzer get her due.